<laughs> yeah, Christopher Hitchens, a, a, a late great friend of this program, wrote a column once, My God, It's a Bestseller, about his uh, God, anti-God book. And he's, he was surprised that he touched this nerve in America. But there's a seriousness in the country right now, and I want to go back to that, because I lived in New York in 1980. Uh, for I went there with Richard Nixon when he moved from San Clemente, and I, I was horrified by this. It was a terrible place. The 70s destroyed it. And I lived in Boston during those same riots you talked about. I don't want to go back. There's no one in their right mind that wants to go back, nor did I actually think many people seriously believed that racism in this country was as bad now as it was then. Do you think they seriously believe that, Charles, or is it simply a pose from which to profit? It's a pose from which to profit. Look, the, nobody, no sentient person over the age of nine is not aware of the fact that this country has radically changed. For God's sake, we have a black president, a black attorney general, a black head of Homeland Security. Um, Fifty years ago, blacks were being legally segregated in parts of the country. I mean, this country has changed itself more and in a better way in race relations than any country in the history of the world. Uh, and I think it's a remarkable achievement. Uh, and I think these people who are whipping up this sentiment, they know that is true. But after all, they live off race hatred. They live off racial tension. They blackmail. They raise their money. They, they, that's how they do what they do. And they will continue to make it the case as long as they can get away with it. Should the president continue to pal around with Al Sharpton? No. That's a disgrace. Uh, okay, now... Let-